Hey, I am so excited. I'm gonna be finishing this painting with you. So you can hang out with me for a little bit if you wanna watch how I finish this painting for an upcoming paint party. And the doors are officially open for Paint Party Headquarters. So if you have been waiting to join, now is your time. You have till Tuesday. So I am so excited to get started. I wanted to show you some of the stuff that we have ready for it. So I'm following along with my marketing materials my step-by-step -step instructions, and all of my supply lists. So we have everything plus tracers so that we can have this ready to go for a paint party. So as you come on, please let me know if you are already a part of Paint Party Headquarters. And then um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the power of our words while we paint today. So I am so happy to see you. Thank you for being here. And for those of you joining Paint Party Headquarters, make sure you ask for the link or if it's the replay, the link will be up above. Um, but you have until Tuesday that the door is closed to the public on Tuesday. So I would love to help you with everything, whether it's you just want to do one paint party or a hundred paint parties. I'm here to help. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing is we are painting this little guy. And um, as you join, remember, you're going to get all of these bonuses. So this will be a physical copy mailed to you. So you can book your parties right away with all kinds of fun stuff and different paintings, everything ready to go. And then you're going to get digital copies of the magic script, which is 14 scripts on exactly how to get your paint parties booked. They work like magic. That's why we call it the magic script. And then you're also going to get the content, creative content prompt calendar, the 12 month, where it shows you exactly what to post when exactly. And this will be a downloadable that you get immediately. And of course, access to hundreds of paintings that you can use right now for your paint party business. Okay, so I'm going to be using this to kind of guide me. And also, if I wanted to read my step by step instructions, I could as well. I'm so excited about this painting. I think it's just so fun and has just fun colors and pops, all of that great stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we have the black filled in, we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna paint a light thin of cream down the bear's legs and some highlights on top of the ground. So we are on this step. So we're gonna do a little bit of the light and then adding some light to the ground. Okay, so while I got you on here <laughs> while we are painting. Um, again, the doors to Paint Party Headquarters are open, but I also want to just remind you the power of your words. So a lot of times when people are wanting to start, start something like this. You know, maybe they just want to teach a paint party for, you know, one or two times to, to make some extra money for a road trip this summer. Or maybe you're wanting to, you know, we just had to get a quote for Pixie and her tooth and it's going to cost a lot of money. So I'm going to need a lot of paint parties for that. It's going to cost about $8,000 for that girl's um, dental work. And so, um, so yes, I need to do some paint parties for that. So there's a lot of times when we just need to come up with some extra money. And so this is a really great way to do it, but not just to do it, but it's a fun way to do this. So if you saw the video last night, let me know if you saw our paint party in action last night. And what did you think? If you saw it, what did you think of it? I would love to know if that was helpful for you to see it in person. You know, to actually, well, a fly on the wall, I guess. And then also um, thinking about the power of your words. So like when people want to do something like this, you know, if you're interested in something like this, how do you... Think about it. Do you immediately go, hmm, I can't do that? Or do you immediately go, maybe this is something I can do? Oh, good. You loved it. That's awesome. Yeah, I hope that was helpful to you. I know that was something I really needed when I first started out. Um, I'm going to put this back on the bear so you can see, see what I'm doing. But yeah, it's so important to remember, you know, we always think we're supposed to start something and be perfect at it. For example, I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to run a 5K and I'm going to be just, you know, right on the money as soon as I get started. You know, same thing with, with doing a paint party or teaching. We don't always get it right the first time. I mean, a lot of times we don't get it right the second, third, fourth, fifth time, right? Like it takes practice and time. 
But sometimes we forget to give ourselves that grace so that we can learn, so that we can grow. And so I think that's what's been so exciting about all of you that are already in Paint Party headquarters is those of you that are giving yourself time. And, um, you know, one of my favorite examples is, is Annie Flint. She is amazing. She was a, a wallflower inside Paint Party headquarters for nearly two years before she decided to start doing her paint parties. And now she's rocking it out. And, you know, it just took like getting through that fear to take action. So if you, you know, have thought about it, but you're scared, let me know. Like, let me know why you're scared. I would love to, to talk through that with you. I would love to help you through that. So if you are brand new or you're thinking this might be something you want to try to do, um, please let me know what you're afraid of. I would love to help you kind of get through that and talk through that with you. Okay, so I'm adding on some details. We have the, the lighter colors here. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of a lighter color right here. And then the next step, and again, we can look at this or we can look at our step-by-step. -step. So our step-by-step, -step, we have the light cream, then the bear's legs and some of the highlights on the top of the ground. Now step six, paint the trees black with either a liner brush or medium brown brush. As you are filling in the tree branches, just dab and swipe down to make some greenery texture. So this one's really fun, as you can see, it has the trees here, and I'm gonna just kinda add in the trees with a medium brush. So I'm gonna start with this brush right here, and then I'm gonna get black paint, and then I'm gonna start over on this side. So this is kinda my tree. Make sure you can see that. All right, and then we're just gonna kinda start blobbing, blobbing on each side. And we want it to have this texture so it, of course, looks like a tree, right? And when you think about trees, you know, there's all kinds of trees. This one kind of, we always want to kind of have it like, you know, smaller at the top and then get bigger as it goes down. Because this is a kind of a modern design, it's okay if there's spots open. You actually want to be able to see these big chunks and pieces. It's not like we're making a, hey, Bobby. What are you doing? I was bringing you a note. <gasps> no, you didn't. Aww. Oh, but I think it's I sweet. Aww. Y'all, he's never done this before. <laughs> Aww. That's so sweet. He says, I love you. Yeah. You want to paint this painting? No, I'm good. I probably don't want to paint the painting. <laughs> we told him last night how good you were. Some people were asking if you were artsy, too. And I said, yeah, you were really good. It ended up being like a bear with a unicorn horn or wings or something like that. <laughs> alien. Come, we do have an alien. Yeah. I got to get that painted too. I'm not painting it on this one. Don't worry. I'm just doing the bear for now. <laughs> Bobby the romantic, they said. <laughs> I know. I'm so I'm going to keep this forever. <laughs> I'm seriously like, no, like words of affirmation are like my thing. And so, um, yeah, so I like keep all kinds of random. Uh, Pixie wrote me a letter and I framed it. Yeah. Yeah. I love some Her words. Her letters are good though. Her letters are so good. Yeah. Well, she's a writer. That's why. Oh, sweet Bobby. Tammy said, Tammy, I hope you're doing good today. I need to, um, message you, see what's going on. See how you're doing. Um, okay, so um, I'll be done in just a little bit. Okay. Do you want to go to dinner tonight? Sure. Okay, love you. I may have a different surprise for you. What? A surprise, too? No, it's not big, but you know. Well, I bet it's bigger than that note. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I am very excited. Okay, so let's, what's going on with Let's just talk about that for a minute. What's going on with Bobby? He has a note and a surprise. This doesn't like him. I don't know what's happening, but I like it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I like it. Okay, so the next, we're gonna put the trees over here. So we're gonna start kind of in the top, and I'm actually gonna get my placement of my trees first. We'll start one here. So I'm just gonna kind of do a line to get my placement. And if you're just now jumping in, I just wanted to um, say welcome. Thank you for being here. 
and we have the doors wide open for Paint Party Headquarters right now. So if you've been waiting to join, now is your time. The doors are wide open. You can join Paint Party Headquarters. You can click the link. Um, and I'm just kind of adding some blobs here to give the illusion of a tree. It's like, it's like, um, happy little tree, happy little tree. It's like, what's his face? Bob Ross. So we're just kind of getting some tree limbs here and see how I'm just kind of lightly dabbing, just lightly dabbing. Um, and then if you want information about Paint Party Headquarters, now's your time. So if you're watching the replay, there'll be a button you can click or link to, um, but the doors close on Thursday. So let's get these happy little trees going. And I like to sometimes use, use the power of a brush that's kind of blobby so it gets that texture in there, okay? The texture. All right, it's just kind of adding this. This is so fun. This is a really, really fun painting, by the way. So if you have, you know, sometimes whenever you're teaching paint parties, it could be a really cool painting, um, but maybe it's not as fun to paint. So really what we have tried to do inside Paint Party Headquarters is not only design paintings that are, you know, great to look at, but also paintings that your painters are gonna be excited to paint. I can make this a little more fluffy if I want. I just wanna make it more tree branchy. Okay, let me rinse my brush. And then if you are, um, he bought, or he's just being sweet. Yeah, probably so, Tammy. <laughs> he probably bought some kind of old bug out there or something. <laughs> That's probably... I'm going to try to um, to not think that way. And I'm just going to be like, no, he did something really sweet for me. I'm just going to go that route. But there might be a new project bug out there <laughs> in the, the garage. <laughs> like, that's a very good guess, actually. <laughs> you know as well. Okay. All right. So the next step. Okay. So that was kind of the greenery. Now with a liner brush, let me show you what I do this. With a liner brush... Add some highlights throughout the bear. Add touches of black, gray, tan, and cream. Start off with a little bit and add more as you want. Great job. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of look at this, you know, our finished product. I'm actually gonna just look at my finished product. I'm gonna, I pulled this up. So I can kind of see, okay, I'm gonna put some of the, the cream here. I'm gonna put some of the, the white here, things like that. So we're just gonna have some fun, okay? We're just gonna have some fun. Um, do you do the marketing live um, for paint parties? Is that what you're saying? Um, or whenever I'm teaching you marketing inside of paint party headquarters. Would you mind clarifying that, Evie? And then I'd love to answer that question. Yay, Sarah. I saw a girl's motorcycle trip. That looked awesome. And wasn't the eclipse spectacular. It was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I almost started crying when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, it was insane. Um, I've been looking for a finished hiker one like this, but I can't find it. Where do I look? Donna, um, team, actually, Julie, do you know, have you painted a finished hiker? If you haven't, we might not have one painted just yet. I know we did several options for paint party headquarters. We did, um, let me see if I have, oh yeah, we have the the alien and the Bigfoot. So we have an alien version of the same thing. And then we have a Bigfoot version for Paint Party Headquarters. Alien version. Um, and then we also have like a hiker, a dog hiker type um, one as well. So if you're wanting to be. So Evie says yes. And that was marketing live. Okay, Evie, I think I confused you and me. So is the, will you... Say a little bit more. Was it the marketing live for paint parties in person or like the marketing for paint party headquarters? And I actually can answer both. So I'll just answer both just to make sure we're covering our basis. So for those of you, hi, Brian, good to see you or talk to you. <laughs> um, so our uh, marketing, so if you're in paint party headquarters, all of the trainings that I have for you are pre-recorded, except for our live Q&As, all of that kind of stuff. For those of you that are, um, are you know, trying to get your paint parties going, the cool part about that is you can learn how we do all of our marketing, and then you can take what you like 
that I do and you can kind of tweak it or you can do it just as I'm teaching you. It's totally up to you. Um, our job is to really um, teach you how to make a profit every single paint party. And that's my mission is to help artists not starve anymore. We don't want starving artists, right? We don't want any starving artists. Okay, so I'm gonna add in some little details here. So I'm gonna just kind of look at my image. I'm gonna go to my smaller brush. I'm gonna grab my palette of paint. And then what we're gonna do is just take the, the brownish color first and just start adding in some lines. So this part's just kind of fun. You can just kind of add them in wherever you feel like it needs to be. And then as you're jumping on here, if you're already a member of PPHQ, oh good, I'm glad that helped. If you're already a member of PPHQ, please do hashtag PPHQ so I know that um, you're on here. And then if you are thinking about joining, you have till Tuesday. So we are closing the doors to the public on Tuesday so we can give all of our members all the attention they need. So if you are interested in learning this, and, and I know right now with, you know, spring and summer and all of that coming, a lot of times, you know, people might think, well, you know, I don't really, you know, I really want to do this in the fall. Here's what I want to tell you. It is so much better to be where you have it all, like where you kind of know what you're doing before you get to the fall. And the reason for that is you can make so much money in the fall and during the, the winter season that I want you ready to go. I want you to have your paintings ready. I want you to have your trainings done. I want you to know what you're doing and what you're talking about. So when you hit fall, you are ready to go. So even if you never teach a paint party until fall, but you sign up for paint party headquarters, you're at least ready to go. And that's really my hope for you so that you can just hit the ground running because the people who wait till, you know, way too late, they end up, you know, starting to do the trainings, but then they get nervous or they might not actually teach a paint party until the spring. And I want you in there like learning, learning, learning so that you can immediately get in there and start teaching your paint parties when it's time, when it's go season. Um, we have a lot of people that do parties during the spring, spring as well. Um, as you saw, I did a party last night. I have a party next Tuesday. I have another party the next Saturday. So um, I try to keep busy. Um, I think we have three parties this month and a couple next month. Next month is my daughter's graduation. So I'm trying not to schedule as much next month just so that I can um, be ready. But yes, if you have any questions, please ask. I have some of my wonderful um, team on here answering as well. But yeah, you have till Tuesday. We are closing the doors. And so that way we can just put all our energy into our, our um, members that, you know, are are out there doing all of this fun stuff and so we can help you as much as possible okay so then you just add some details i'm going to actually get a little bit of the the um grayish blue color it's one of my new favorite colors thicket and just add in some details here and then if you have any questions about paint party headquarters let me know um we are about to hit our six year birthday isn't that crazy to think um, we have been around for six years. I've been teaching paint parties for nearly two decades. Um, I've been teaching paint parties for 17 years. So, um, so all the, the mistakes I've made, I try to share that with you so you can skip ahead and not have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, I wanted to do this for several years, but how, but I... Oh, I don't know what the, yeah, it's a deco art color, the thicket. It's so, so fun. It's one of my new favorites. And we use it for um, the fall church too. But yeah, we have all the cool stuff with it too. So here's my beautiful painting. What do you think? La! I love it. Okay, so I just want to remind you, um, this you have till Tuesday. If you want to join, um, we would love to have you. The link is there. You can check it out. You can see what you think. Um, but I want to remind you that 
that when you're thinking about stuff, I always think risk versus reward in life. And I know this is kind of weird, but I always think about like, okay, my grandma Evelyn, she's you know 95 years old, my grandma. And I always think, oh my gosh, what do we, um, you know, when I'm 95 years old, what do I want to look back on and wish I would have tried? So here's what I want to just remind you of when you are making a decision like this, okay? Again, it's 47 a month. And I know sometimes that can feel very, very hard, especially when you're first getting started. But I want you to think about if you were to teach a paint party and make $300, for example, that is so, like the confidence you're going to gain from that and then that ability to go, hey, I can repeat this and I can have 20 people to party. I can have 30 people to party. I remember years ago, oh my gosh, I was so excited. My grandma Evelyn was actually a part of the story. She, um, I went to her house, we were you know, teaching a paint party. I was staying the night at her house and I had taught, I think at that time it was my largest party to date. Now I've had parties bigger, but then I had a party of 119 people. And so I made over $4,000 in one night. I know it is crazy. And so I think it's the funniest thing when people say like, oh, your cute little art business or, oh, you know, let me support the arts, things like that. Like, I think it's just, um, I just, people don't understand that paint parties can be huge money makers. And so you don't have to be a starving artist. And I had done the paint party, plus I had been selling kits at that event as well. And so a lot of people were paying me cash for kits. And so that night I went to my grandma's house and at that time I carried this black bag and that's where I would throw all of my paint brushes in and that's where I was stuffing that cash. I was putting some in my pocket if people came up and handed it and then some into um, that bag. Well, me and my you know, grandma, she wasn't 95 at the time, but she was probably 91, something like that. But anyway, me and my grandma were sitting there and we were getting all the brushes out because I had to wash the brushes. And my grandma's like, oh, Heidi, people don't realize how hard you work. Like that's a lot of, you know, I mean, it was hundreds of brushes, 300 plus brushes I had to wash that night. And, um, and I said, yeah, but grandma, look at this. And I started just pulling cash out of every little pocket in that black bag. And we just had this pile of cash. And then I was like, and look, grandma. And I was like pulling cash out of my pocket. And she just had the funnest laugh. She just started going, ooh, and started like giggling. My grandma does this, ooh, like voice, you know, and, and she started giggling and I was laughing and I was just like, you know, it's like 1130 at night. And I just remember just being like, this is like such a fun memory with my grandma. Cause she, she never realized like you could make money that way. And, and I think a lot of people don't realize that you can make money doing something you love. And so I just always want to encourage, especially the artists and crafters out there that you don't have to, to live this life of not being able to make money doing what you love. And um, I'm not a person that's ever going to say, quit your full-time job. It's all going to be perfect because that's not how entrepreneurship works. Entrepreneurship is not for the weak. If you are weak, this is not for you. <laughs> if you are looking for the best self, like self-help development ever, doing um, your own business is definitely one of those. But I always wanna tell people too, to not take it so seriously. You know, I was taking, um, me and Pixie were on our way home from the paint party last night. We were just chit-chatting about all kinds of stuff. And um, we were talking about how, you know, I was teaching paint parties way before I ever went and got a DBA or a website or a logo. Like most people, and it's okay if you've done this because I've done it before too, but most people are going to go do 50 other things that have nothing to do with making money. They're gonna go get the perfect website built. They're gonna go make sure this is in line. They're gonna go buy, you know, 20 aprons, 20 easels, you know, all of these brushes. And I teach it a different way. I teach you how to have a profit every party where you don't go, you know, you don't need all of this. You don't need brushes galore, which by the way, that's just a fraction of what I have now because I've been doing this for nearly 20 years. But you you don't need that. You need to get a link up, get prepays, 
and then start buying your supplies. When I was first doing this, you know, for those of you that know my story, I went bankrupt, lost everything. I actually wrote a book about it. <laughs> if you want to get this on Amazon, I went bankrupt, lost everything. And so when I was doing my paint party business, I couldn't go get a loan. I couldn't start with, you know, several thousands of dollars. I literally grabbed used paintbrushes from my house. And then as I had a few prepays, I went and grabbed the the stuff i needed i bought just the amount of paint that i needed for the party and then i had that party and then immediately i had profit from the very first one so i really want to encourage you if you are a person who you know has some crafty talent has a little bit of artsy talent you don't have to be the best artist you just have to you know be able to put things together and do this and i just am so excited to teach you exactly how to do that through all of the trainings inside Paint Party Headquarters as well as hundreds of designs ready to go. Um, let's see, when you do a huge 300 plus person paint party, do you still paint along with everyone like you did last night? Not always, Casey, and um, so it depends. And you know, it's so funny because a lot of times, especially the past few years, I really have been having people use the step-by-step -step guides and then basically grab, you know, having the step-by-step -step guides and then walking around and helping. However, last night, because the party was smaller, when I have smaller parties, um, and if you watched last night, you saw that it was easier for me to go in, teach the painting step-by-step. -step. Now, what was really cool and what Pixie noticed and what I noticed was immediately all of those people wanted to rebook. They were like, this was great. This was so much fun. Oh my gosh, where's your information? And so I do think I'm going to go back to more of me painting live step by step. And um, so for all of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, you'll probably start seeing me do that more. And um, just because immediately people were able to like, I mean, their paintings look gorgeous. Everything looked beautiful. And then we still will, we still will have this out for them but it'll be um, me also, in addition, talking through it as well. And um, also we do a lot of that because um, if we do a lot of painter's choice. And uh, Maxine, do you provide the step-by-step -step guides if we subscribe? Yes, oh my gosh, there is so much you get. So inside Paint Party Headquarters, um, so this is just one painting of hundreds. Um, this is just one painting of hundreds. So let me kind of show you, but here's the cool part. I'll show you this first and then I'll just kind of show you behind the scenes of some of my paintings and that you'll have access to, to make money with. That's the cool part. So you don't have to try to stress over it. You can just go for it. So, um, so you'll have like the step-by-step -step. you can print. They're all done beautifully. My logo is not on them. So you can just grab and go. You'll have access to um, the marketing flyer, which you can go in and edit. So again, it makes you look professional. When you book a party, which we teach you how to do that, you can grab and go. You'll have the these right here, where it kind of shows you the blocking. And then you'll also have the supply list. So let's say you're selling kits or you, um, you know, you're doing an online event and you need to give somebody a supply list. Maybe you're working for a corporation and uh, maybe for example, let's say, um, let's say Apple has a big corporate event and they want to hire you. Well, instead of looking non-professional and maybe you're doing the online part for them, you could send them the supply list all of these fun things that are already ready to go for you. And then you could go live on a Zoom and then walk them through just like I was showing you the last few steps of this. So the doors are open till Tuesday. Oh, and let me show you your bonuses you'll get. Um, when you sign up, okay, so again, like I said, the doors close on Tuesday at midnight. You're going to get a lookbook. Um, this we already have inside. Hey, Tammy, hey, Dorothy, hey, Nancy. And we already have this inside a Paint Party Headquarters, so you can actually edit it. You can get it printed however you want. Um, but you're gonna get a version of this that you can um, go ahead and take. So this will be a printed version that you'll get immediately mailed to you. Then you'll get a digital copy of this. So this is the Creative um, Content Prompt Calendar. Have you ever like, not really been sure what to post on social media. Like this is um, exactly what to post when, 
what, you know, kind of how to get to your goals, things like that. So this is immediate. You can download this. I went and had it printed at Staples just because I wanted to be able to show you. And then this is gold, okay? The magic scripts. We have, I think, 13 or 14 scripts. How to contact all different types of places. What if, what if they reply? How do I contact schools? How do I contact community centers? How do I contact all of these different places? And this is magical. <laughs> this is gold right here. Okay, and then um, we have, let's see. I do crafts, but I'm just getting started. Oh, Dorothy, you are in the right place for sure. Okay, let me show you. This is just part of the paintings. This is not all of them, okay? But this is just part of them. We try to stay ahead. So um, this is, like I said, this is not all of them. We have more in the attic. Um, but we have, you know, by season. This ranger is a new one from last year. It was a huge hit. I think it's going to be a big hit again this year. And then we have our spring, our summer, and then our fall. So we've already been working ahead on fall. And this is a new pumpkin coming, another new pumpkin coming, a raven coming, this was a really big hit last year. I think it's going to be a big hit again this year as well. Um, we get to use the thicket for that. Oh, I mean, we have so many cool. I need to organize this. And um, so many great paintings and designs for you that you can use ready to go for your paint party. I know the crow is so fun. Oh, this one. This one is so much fun. Um, this one, I had a blast painting. I cannot wait to share that with Paint Party Headquarters. And actually, um, for all of you that are in Paint Party Headquarters, the great news is, is you're going to have access to the crow, this pumpkin, and this ghost. That's coming, um, that's coming early June. That way you can be ready. Oh, the blue pumpkin. Yeah, let me let me find my blue pumpkin. So these are all fall in here. Um, this is what I want you to be prepared for. This is why if you're on the fence, like this is why I want you to be prepared so that you can immediately start getting ready to do this stuff because um, that's the coolest part about this is like, yeah, there's our blue, our bluish orange abstract pumpkin. This was a huge seller last year. Many, many Paint Party Headquarter members made thousands and thousands of dollars off of this, which is so cool. Um, Dale asked, how quick are people able to start booking parties? Well, Dale, that's a great question. Using the magic script, you can literally book a party this week. I recommend always having about three weeks to, um, three weeks to, um, what you call it? And promote. So I recommend having at least three weeks. So if, when you book it, when you sign up for Paint Party Headquarters, like I said, it's 47 a month, or you can, you know, say, hey, I'm going to commit to a year and it'll be, um, it'll be um, three months free if you commit to a year. And then what you can do is you can literally like have um, your party booked. I mean, like this week, if you use the magic scripts in here, you could have your party booked and then within three weeks already be teaching a paint party. However, I know some people are very nervous about that. So what I recommend is when you sign up, do a few tutorials with me and then have a few people over, maybe your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, whoever, and then teach them, maybe three or four people, just do it for free, just to get the, you know, the jitters out. And so that's really kind of what I recommend, just so you don't get totally freaked out and you know, you're like, but, I don't know. My my first party was a paid party, so I, I really like to just jump in, but I do things like overboard. <laughs> so I know that um, not everybody is, is that quick, but I like to think, you know, take action before your brain realizes what you're doing. So I kind of take action fast before I talk myself out of it. So I would love to help you. Again, no pressure, um, but we are here. We have been here for nearly six years and we have hundreds of designs 
everything that you could possibly need. That's why it's called Paint Party Headquarters. And um, we are very, very, very excited to help you. So if you want to be a part of this, we would love to help you. And then also, um, when you're a part of Paint Party Headquarters, we have so many fun extra things we do. Um, we have a huge um, cruise that we're doing next January. Well, this coming January in 2026. 2025 and um, so things like that that you'll be able to hear more about so if you've been looking for a supportive group like this along with everything you have possibly used for your paint party businesses handed to you on a silver platter so that you can just grab and go and pretend like you're a teacher and you need sub plans, well, here you go. <laughs> so we are here for you and I take this responsibility very seriously and me and my team take it very seriously and we try everything we can do to, to get you what you need. And I still to this day, as you saw last night, I still to this day teach paint parties. And the reason I continue to do that is so that I can always keep my finger on the pulse, what's working, what's not working, why are people signing up, why are people not signing up, because paint parties do go up and down. And so you always got to be like ready to pivot, ready to tweak, ready to change. And so um, I am that person and I always, always want to help you. So, all right. I hope you have a great day. I hope that you will join us inside Paint Party Headquarters and the doors close Tuesday. So click the link and check it out and I'll see you inside.